Shocking confession, Oni surprise confession. Hello, my wonderful people. The Oni of Ife is a traditional ruler in the southwest region of the country, well loved, well respected by his people. A man who is, you know, looked at as a role model. But um, Oni made a shocking confession that is really. Um, I don't know how to how best to explain it. Uh, the best way would be for you to hear it, you see. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Only surprise confession. The Lagos State PDP Chairman Engineer Deji whipped the reward of his belief and faith in people recently as His Majesty the Union of Ife, Oba Adeyeye, surprisingly showed up in all his royals, royalty at his son Digbo's wedding. At the reception held at the 10th degree event center in Keja, Lagos, Oni openly admitted that he once walked under the groom's father when his son was a little boy. He admitted that he acted as a middleman between engineer Digbo and former Governor Fayoshi, handling messages for both parties. Oba Deyeye later advised people never to look down on their subject or anyone around you because no one can tell the future and the tables can turn, you see. Besides being a politician, Engineer Digbo is the chief executive officer of the Dan Group, the owners of 10 degree event center. Known faces spotted at the party include Former Governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshe, Lagos Governorship Aspirant, Jima Agbaje, Managing Director of Waziri Advisory Limited, Larry Akimbo, and only three sisters, Princesses, Princess Folashade, Princess Adebinkwe, and Princess Adeshola were there. Other prominent personalities were there. Oni advised people to be very careful how they live their life and what they do because you never can tell who is watching and what will happen tomorrow. This man, when we walked together, he was good to me, I was good to him. Hence, we can come together today. He's surprised I showed up at his son's wedding. This is a surprise and see the way I was treated. If I'd been bad to him, you would have seen it. This is how we ought to live be impactful, be obedient, be humble. Pride do not lift any man anywhere. It brings every man down. So everybody must be careful how they go about their disposition. Tables do turn, you see. So everyone must be careful how they work around. So that's the only of Ife um, admitting today that he has once been with these people and um, today you can see that once upon a time he was working under the boy's father to which he attended a wedding and um, he was just being you know he did his job as he should did what he should and today he can come boldly to the place and see the way he was being treated as an honored guest well reverent well you know respected received you know, honored and even had opportunity to speak, you know, and that was where he was advising and encouraging people to be humble and to be careful how they go about. Don't look down on anybody. You know, Nigerians, some of us, we have house help or we have people who helps us here and there. And before you know it, people begin to treat others very with disdain as though the other person is not a human being. We begin to look down on people. We need to be careful, you see. Uh, you, you, you look at somebody, you never can tell who that person is going to be. So the life of that person is not in your hand. Why not do right by that person? Just be fair to people. Mm -hmm. Because the truth in life is, take for instance, a parent have four children, yes? And one was very brilliant in school. Now, no, we're not putting down um, intelligence. Please go to school, be very intelligent, do your best. And the father, for instance, starts showing favoritism towards that one that is more, you know, academically bright, so to say, today. And, you know, disdaining or putting down the others. What the father is doing is killing the spirit of the others because everybody might not go through the educational route. And guess what? Everybody's destiny is different. 
So the father has so much built his mm-hmm. enter his everything around that very that very one, thinking this is the one that will lift my name. And guess what? The one he least thought about all of a sudden, you know, gets into apprenticeship, came out, became the best, became a managing director, have group of companies, you know, began to, you know, uh, I mean, chains of companies. The other one was bright, no, no doubt, you know, living is well, living well, but working under a company that is brother that can as well employ him. Living well and having a good position, but not the same thing with the one, the father, you know, so you are good for nothing. This, your brother is going to be this. Good. The brother also has sent to be something. What are we talking about here? Don't look down on anyone and peek and say, this is the one that will shine brighter. The other ones will not. You don't know. Only God's got that, um, you know, got that privilege to be able to discern and be able to say, and he, I mean, he has the finest say, so to say. So you don't come down or come back and just say, no, you can't stand. I have said so, so it is. No, no, you're not God. And so you cannot, um, you cannot tell people, you know, who will rise and who will fall. People try diabolic means and they do a lot of things, but that's not the way forward. The way forward is do your best, leave the rest for God. And you'll be surprised at the level at which you will excel and do excellently well. Believe in yourself. Don't be envious of others. Don't be jealous. It's a bad spirit. When you see something good going for somebody, rejoice with the person. Genuinely, you know, be grateful and don't wish that the tables were turned. It was you there. No. It's the person's moment. Don't, I mean, your time will come. Believe me. So enjoy with that person. You can go to pray to God and ask God to also help bring forth your own season, but not that you go into a position of jealousy, hate, rage. No, no, no. It doesn't lead anybody anywhere, I can assure you. But when you sincerely wish people well, things will be well for you. It's as easy as that. When you sincerely want it to be well with others, things will always be well for you. Because as you so wish that men will do so, you you do so and even more unto them. You see, leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Uh, please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can always get all our latest news. Remember, your needs advice. Don't look down on anybody. The tables can turn, you see. God bless you. Remember, we are all individuals and you can make somebody's day. Bye for now.